All right, so last time in the 110 run, we began with Warlock, and we got 12 wins with it. A pretty good start. So next up, we choose between Shaman and Druid, and Shaman is the slightly worse class, significantly worse class. I'm going to go with Shaman, and then we'll try to go with the back-to-back -back 12 start again. Hey, that's a good first card. Those are two good first cards. I'd pick all three if I could pick all three. I mean, I wouldn't pick the Crazed Alchemist, but if it came with the Sludge Belcher and the Lightning Storm, I'd do that. Well, that's a good start, though. Hey, Forked Lightning. I was just trashing on this card with the new Shaman Legendary Revealed, but in Arena, at least, it is not that awful. Hey, Fire Elemental. Well, these are some good Shaman cards to start with. Mean of the Lake is okay in Shaman, because the button is okay. Shout Sun Cleric is good, because I have totems. Tiger is good, because it's a tiger. Huge Toad is good, because it's 3 2 with an ability attached. Pretty sure we go Ice Rager here. Dread Corsair only if I feel very, uh, very lucky. Which I do not. Ice Rager is not that bad. Uh, Shadow Sun Cleric, Lightning Bolt, or Bluegill. So Bolt's good. The Shadow Sun Cleric is also good. I already have one Shadow Sun Cleric. I think the Shadow Sun Cleric gets a little tiny bit worse if I already have one. Because it's one of those cards which can get stuck in your hand when you don't have anything to play. Yeah, go with Lightning Bolt then. It's really close. Well, Legendary. I think Aedis is best as a 3-mana three 3-4. Three, so I'm basically picking Spider Tank here. That's the case with legendaries a lot, like, if you're picking a spider tank, that's usually pretty good. I mean, the other cards are all worse. Another huge toe. Cool. And that's even worse than a spider tank, because you don't get the mech bonus. I think we go with Snapjaw, since I have no mechs. Totem Golem probably beats out Frostal Forlord, even though Frostal Forlord is really good in Shaman. I mean, by really good, I mean better, but not necessarily really good. Dumb Golem, though. This guy rocks. My socks. Well, these are some sad cards. Wind Fury, huh? Is that worse than the uh, Stone Tusk Boar? <laughs> this is actually worse than Stone Tusk Boar. We've got the Shadow Sun Cleric synergy with Boar. I do have the uh, Totemic Might Totem Golem combo, and I have Wind Fury with two big cards at least, and Tiger is really good with Wind Fury. Eh, I have Aedis. I have no um, Flame Tongue Totem also. If I had a Flame Tongue Totem, I'd pick Stone Tusk Bar for sure. And I'll go with Wind Fury. It's pretty close. How much uh, overload do I have? Lightning, 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 Golem. That's a decent amount. I have one, two, three, three drops so far. Now I'll go with one bam. I have a decent amount of overload already. Dwarf. Good flame juggler, another lightning bolt, zombie chow, mm mm. It does beat out Zapomatic. That's how good zombie chow is. Or rather, I think Zapomatic is quite overrated. Something like that. It already has Wind Fury, so I can't even cast Wind Fury on it. Alright, it's time for yet another Gnomish Experimenter pick, I think. Unless I think Ancestral Spirit is better. I actually have a good amount of uh, spells right now, of 1, 3, 4, 5, which is above average for the amount that I have. Obviously I don't choose the stone. Ancestral Spirit is often going to, I mean, I can target Aedis, and that's pretty good. The Spirit is good on the Tiger, too. There's not that much silence out there. Even turn 2 Totem Golem into turn 3 Ancestral Spirit isn't that bad. But on the Experimenter side, 5 cards, that's a 1 and 6. I see myself uh, getting the Ancestral Spirit all the time and then not being able to use it. But I think the Aedis might actually tilt it towards Ancestral Spirit. When you go Ancestral Spirit, it's really close. Really, really close. Bomber. We got Worse Ice Rager here. It's abusive. Ooh, a Shredder. Tinker Town Tech. I have... Powdered Shredder. Looks like we don't choose Tinker Town Tech. Anti Killbot might be good because I have Lightning Storm, so I actually have a catch up. Uh, Fork Lightning also. Could also just go with Anoyo. I have what? One, two, three, four, five, two drops? 
six with the chow. Some uh, reactive cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Count that as seven. And I have seven picks left. I think I have enough early game. I don't really have any synergy with Anoyatron. I think I go Healbot. Third Lightning Bolt. Yep. Jungle Panther. Or another Turtle. Alright, so so far I've got two really weak 4 drops already. Weak in terms of high health, low attack value. So, do I want Jungle Panther or another Oasis Snapjaw? I also have to consider my 3 drops. I have 1, 2, 3 so far. I thought I had more. I'm gonna go with Panther. I was gonna almost pick the Snapjaw just because I had a lot of 3s and not that many 4s. Ah, that's because I have so many 1s. Anyways. Warrior. Rockbiter or Gnomish. I have very little late game right now. The Gnomish, uh, the Rockbiter is instant gratification. Also works with Aedas. Aedas is surprisingly possibly good here. Well, no, it's not. I wonder if I'll remember to Rockbiter my Aegis. Rockbiter and, uh. Yeah, that's another Lightning Bolt. Or do I choose Frost Elemental? I think I need a big card, right? Yeah. I mean, Lightning Bolt is a good card, but maybe too many. Frost and Fire. And then my final big card is draining a totem carver. Okay. You got a reasonable deck here. There's not that much late game, but picking up the Frost Elemental I'm sure helps a lot. So Frost Elemental, Fire Elemental, and Stranglethorn Tiger are the late game. Uh, drain I totem carver also. And then I just have a lot of good cards, really. Making sure that I curve out one, two, three, four very often. And then I have a few big cards. It all seems quite reasonable. Back in the day, I might have been a little more doom and gloom, saying, Oh no, I only have one big card, the Fire Elemental. The Frost Elemental isn't even big. But these days, I've embraced tempo quite a bit more. And I think of it as, Oh good, I don't have that many cards that I can... I don't have that many cards that can get stuck in my hand and not be playable. I do have a lot of spells in here, though. I think this deck is reasonable, but really not anything spectacular. Is that really safe to say? Eh, I've got a zombie chow. Three lightning bolts. Basically, these are all really efficient ways to fight for tempo. Maybe it is a lot better than I thought it was. I'm going to guess... Nine. The light shall bring victory for Doomhammer. I think this deck has the right elements. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so if I draw two, and then I got the three and the four. Mm, it's a good three, and it's a good four. An excellent three, and an excellent four. The best three, and the best four. Just need a two, which is going to happen a lot. Or a one. Eh, it's a one. I think that's good enough. That used to... A long time ago, I would have held this because I'm pressing the button, so of course I'm going to press the 1 sometime, right? And then use the totem, but I look at this curve and there's no way I'm not playing this on 3. There's no way I'm not playing this or this on 4. So when I would play the Abusive Sergeant, it would have to be like turn 5. So basically I hope that I don't face off against a 2-3 or 1-3, which may or may not happen. Got yeah, my Aedas Lightning Bolt combo. Well, you have some movement from the opponent. Eh? No? No? I'll take my freebie. And this is a mind control tech setup play? Brilliant. I'll give it to him if it is. Tempo Heal Bot. I think I would have played the Tempo Heal Bot anyways then. Chaos. Chaos and Invade.
protect the one. For Doomhammer. Yes, I can go Coin Totem Golem into Lightning Bolt into Blue Gill Warrior. I can also just go uh, skip turn one, turn two, play Totem Golem into Blue Gill Warrior into Lightning Bolt. I don't want to keep this card's weak. That's interesting. Turn two, Unbound. Turn three, Totem Golem Lightning Bolt. That would be something. <sighs> but I might need to speed it up and go Totem Golem Lightning Bolt now. I kept this all hand, and this card is really good. I overload for two, next turn I have one, I would basically pass. Turn after, at four I'd play Maiden. I wonder. It's a matter of greed right now. Why not the Unbound Elemental? Eh, it's very unlikely for something terrible to happen. It's like this has two, that's one. I guess worst would be Keeper. That would be pretty terrible. You can always do the same play that I was going to do this turn, next turn instead. Hmm, this is a slight punish. Oh well. My guy took out a, a guy. He didn't manage to use the mana that efficiently. There it is. Hmm. It's a good card against my card. But at least it'll take two, which means Lightning Storm can get a good amount of it. Hmm, that uh, ogre might run into the tiger, which actually is not good for me, because when stealth minions do damage, they reveal themselves, so the ogre, if it hits the tiger, you can use the hero power to finish the tiger, but maybe he doesn't know that, who knows. I think he knew that. Three, four, two, I think is what I'm gonna do. I'll kill off this and this with this and this. If I get the healing totem, I can kill that. If I got the spell damage totem, it would have also been quite good. Um, so next turn I'll have five. I, wonder. I kind of want to wait until the spell damage totem to play Lightning Storm. But will probably take too long. Should stick with the original plan. Stick with the plan, stick with the plan. Somehow it feels a little bit better that that only did that much damage. Even though it's silly to think of it that way. That wasn't a very skillful ogre brute. Should have hit face. Tough decision between that and heal bot. But I'm running out of steam already, so I need to start pushing the button a lot. And this card is pretty good against the ogre. Hmm, his hand sucks. I have to hope his hand sucks too. And get uh, two ice ragers for the price of one and a half. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Used Wrath for nothing. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight? Ancestral Spirit this. Get a two six back. If I hit the lightning bolts uh, with the totem correctly, I can get this one back and be in a better situation. One, three, four. I can do that even if I don't get the totem with abusive. Two, three, four, five, eight. All right, that seems like a good plan. 
There's not much better that I can Ancestral Spirit. He only has one card in his hand left. Smart. Cleared off the 2 1 first. Oh. Okay, he doesn't have that much left. Still good. So, Fire Elemental is the best card. Uh, Frost Elemental is another big card. Big. Swipe. He does only have a 4-1 left. I just have to hope a druid's deck is small. Which is unlikely, but possible. Mm. Ugh. I have so many bad cards in my deck though. We actually went to the late game. the start of zombie chat. This run at least promises to be successful. This game. Shredder's good. Just draw stuff in between. It's getting hot in here. Oh, face. Pretty lucky. So every totem except the 1-1, one, one. no, 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 only the 1-1 one, one is good, is what I meant to say. I should play this, because then I don't overload into turn 4. Though if I did get the uh, turn, whatchamacallit, if I'd gotten the 1-1, one, one, I wouldn't need to uh, use a lightning bolt. That was very, that would be very ambitious, though. For a while, I a big hmm. I want to try to greet him somehow. Play turtle hit face. How punish. He goes into this toad. He puts kings, becomes a 7-6, he kills my snap jaw, he still has a 7-4. That'd make me sad. I feel like I need to push damage whenever possible here. Yeah, let's do this. The thing is that thing has two attacks, so it doesn't or two health, so I can always fork lightning it. So I didn't feel the need to um, kill it immediately. So I can fork lightning and waste a snap jaw here. It's okay. It felt really unlikely that he would never be able to play a buff uh, throughout the course of the game. Snap. Jaw Turtle. Wants Wind Fury, right? That's how it works. Snap, yo. Snap, snap. It's not how it works. But Tiger probably wants Wind Fury.
Hmm. I have to push the button in order to activate this, so, yep. The board is getting there. This board at least promises success. Cheating! No, oh, not the spell damage. Elements I like. Totems I love. How's he going to trade here? He would trade in mostly the ways that I would trade. So currently I'm not going to trade. Check is in the mail. Completely reasonable. Okay, let's see. He plans on dealing the 4 3 into my 4 4. The 1 1 is going to kill my 2 1. The solution would be the 4 4 swings into the 1 1. I could put him at 4. I he takes care of my 4 4 and 2 1, and then I have 2. Alternatively, I put him at 8. He kills 1 1. And then I put him at 6. I have a few ways in the deck to deal 2. To deal three really. Wait, four, six. Alright, face. I just like the one one being able to go into the two one. But Okay, it's really good for me. It's got a top deck one of my early game cards. Bells. Huh. I wonder if I put that on the taunt totem. No, that's super dumb. Take this blade. Of course, put it on this thing. Yeah. Wait, would that be dumb? Yeah, it would be dumb. Well, it's not that dumb. Oh my gosh. That's actually a pretty big mistake, putting it on those two. Shouldn't he buff the strong one? I think so. Just a matter of time before I draw one of my lightning bolts. Just a matter of time. Reporting for duty. Three, four, six, seven, eight, fourteen. <laughs> Always lucky. I win. Nice. I didn't win. Too bad. Oh, 
<laughs> I think two equals one, so it didn't matter. Two equals one equals three. That was a mistake. Yeah, should have pressed button before hitting me. Yep. Yeah. The light protects me. Do I lose next turn? Three, five, six, uh, seven, fifteen, seventeen. No. Well, that might be good enough to hold off for a turn. Three, four, five, seven, fifteen, seventeen. So he gets punished for not having done two extra damage to me, perhaps. Yeah, please let him get punished. Is there justice? Well, there's justice. Okay. And... Ugh. You asked for it. For Doom Hammer. Okay. It's okay. We're in the easy bracket now. I'll keep telling myself that. Good curve. Hello, hello, hello. Always lucky. It's getting hot in here. Never lucky. I serve the fire lord. Hmm. So I could kill that off immediately. Next turn I have two. The alternative play is to leave a flame waker up. How bad could that be? Mm, seems like it could be bad. That dealing three doesn't actually matter. Which one do I want to die? Probably this one. Eh, this one. Forces him in the fire blast. Is that worth? If he fire blasts, he only has enough mana for two. I think it's better to send this guy in, or to send this guy in, and have a, th basically better to have a 3-1 than, no, that's not true. I'll do this. It's a tough choice between keeping a 3-1 and a 2-2. Two -two. Missiles. What? Okay. Wow, did I miscalculate? Right, I could have had two, um, two ones. Eh, well, two two ones is definitely better than a three one and a... Or two one and a three one is definitely better than a two two. The guilt is crushing. Thankfully, I actually have an answer to that. I've not drawn these two cards in the previous games. They're pretty good cards. Uh, I can actually use the healing totem. That's probably better. Get in there and fight, maggot. We must cleanse the sun well. Ready to ride. Face. I'll use the fire elemental. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. <laughs> the long process. The Grim Patron and Ruby and Egg combo. That's very cute. Well, 
Gruel is growing. I am one damage off lethal. Double fireball, make me cry. Make me weep. Those sweet tears. Mm, okay, that's a little sad. MCT Rena, that would have been pretty good. What? What? <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll just top deck 3 damage. Or 2 damage. Got a lot of ways to deal 2 or 3. There you go. Okay. Do I keep Piloted Shred? It's a really good card. Unbanned Elemental, do I keep that? How many threes do I have? I think that's one of my best independent threes. Do I count on getting a two? Well, this is pretty weak three if I don't actually have any overload. I'll toss that back. Yeah, ciao. How good. One shot. What? What? Reporting for duty. Hmm. Healing? If I can make a 5-5, five, five, that's actually probably better than I could expect. 4-mana 5-5 five, five is pretty good. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. I changed my mind. Guy killer. I can have one of those. That's fine. Ugh. Okay, time to crush some guys. This deck actually has a decent, pretty decent chance at losing these jousts. Phew, Flight's Justice is finally over with. Okay. Hmm. Feeling frosty. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Do I just play it out? Or do I summon a totem in between? Let's just go with power. Absolute power. Five mana draw two. Good sign.
Just go all out. Okay. Do I have lethal? If this hits that 5, 6, 9, 10, 12, 17. So no. I do need to kill that. This is probably a good time to play this. Best time to do it is now. Probably using this one on that. And on this, I'd probably use this. I don't want to get another Wrath of Air totem. Eh, I should prevent the Consecration Fiesta, I think. Hope at least a little against it. Has to be lethal, right? Yep. That's seven to face. I won't even take my extra minion. <laughs> Go. Eh, <sighs> just win the next nine. It's okay. It's a fair trade, and I just don't want to do it for some reason. Probably because I miss both of my missiles. Or I hit both my missiles, depending on your perspective. One face. I can actually punish that. I can punish that a lot. I'm very happy right now. Totem Bolt Bolt. If he had double traded into Unbanned Elemental, I'd be doomed. Doom! That's a punish. Okay. Mm, Jungle Panther or Chow Totem. I feel like I need a big guy. Or an anti-big guy. But I can't even really finish things oh, off that well. I think I need to go Totem Chow and then the next turn... Or maybe just Jungle Panther and the next turn I go Maiden Chow. Yeah, it's better for career. That was a really weak turn for. He got it. Oh man. He got me. Do I Ancestral Spirit in my 4-2? That's 2 mana 4-2. It's not bad. I could actually return this to life as a 2-4 with the ability, but that's not very good. I'd rather the 4-2 than the 2-4 with the ability, I think. Right? Yeah, I need something with teeth. Because all my guys have such low attack power. Got me. What? <sighs> what, what, what? Oh, it's 
painful that this game is close. If I don't, let's see, if I deal 8 to him, he uses the 6-6 six, six and crushes, let's say, my 4-2. And then he heals himself, he goes back up to 14. Or no, he kills that. So he's a 12, I have 2, 4, 6, 9. Trade or not to trade, that is the question. I am going to do something rather brave. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. Take this blade. I rage at this world. Well, that's a curve. Huge toad. He deals damage when he croaks. Tough choice. Question mark. It's so far away to kill him, but... I feel like two years ago I might have hit the 1-1 one, one under the fear that he would play Shattered Sun Cleric on it or something. We must cleanse the sun well. But these days, you know, you just try to not fear those things and just hit the damage face and on average you'll have a better time. Buff this, out of range. Oh, that's a combo. Totem. Maybe he heals the one. Even if it doesn't, he has to fire blast. I like this play. Well, I missed both rolls, which is really unfortunate. Looks like he could not spare the two mana to fire blast this. Let's see if I hit this roll. Pretty hard to miss this one. Eh, it's, it's reasonable to miss. Yeah, that went well. If I hit this, I might spit that. But I should instead hit, and then this will still be a 4 1. So my, I can either have, well, if I do this and this, that's, yeah, that's probably best. Eh, never spitting. Really? Why would you? Okay. <laughs> Punish! Yay! <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess his missiles made up for my missiles. This arena feels really dumb for some reason. I don't I don't really know why. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. Alright. 
Shao and the Toad into Aegis Darkbane. Here we go. Marvel plays the Bolt. I'm going first, so I can't Lightning Bolt anything on turn one. I wouldn't want to Lightning Bolt anything on turn two. And turn three, I probably wouldn't want a Lightning Bolt. So that's why I replaced Bolt. I'd also replace Rock Biter. When you're going first, you don't want the answer card. Huh, Bluegill. Reasonable to play it, but I won't here. Since I don't have a three. It's getting hot in here. Boo. Okay, so so far this hand isn't going very well. Um, if I play the snap draw, I'm afraid of avenge. This dies, I have a 2-4 snap draw, possibly 2-3. And he has a 5-5 five, five, or a 5-4. If I play shredder, shredder dies to the 3-2. But shredder is pretty powerful, it can kill the 2-3. And here's shredder. It's also as bad against... Uh, Repentance. If I play this and I get Repentance, I always lose. Not that it was ever likely to be Repentance. It's time for Dooms. No, Doomsayer would be bad. Real house? Yeah, is this card bad? It's not too bad. Yeah, cool, I get to kill this. Although he gave it to me, which means implies he's got avenge. Yeah, I'll take it though. This is funny. Okay, so sacred trial, huh? It's a really good sign for me. The sacred trial is not going to uh, be important in this game. Uh, sacred trial is rarely important. Could be eye for an eye. Pretty unlikely. So I could send my guy into the Venture Co and then Mad Bomber. Probably better to leave that Venture Co on the board for a turn. So then what is the best play? Bluegill plus Totem? Bluegill plus Maiden of the Lake? Maiden of the Lake dies to Venture Co too easily. Snapjaw dies to Venture Co perfectly. Mad Bomber, Bluegill Warrior, Totem? <laughs> Not eye for an eye. Uh, well, I can do that now. Fine. I think I would take too much damage taking the seven. This is fine. Cards in my hand are pretty low quality. I could still lightning storm my way out of this game though. I'll need to draw it rather soon. Doomsayer. Come on, Lightning Storm. Something, something. Still have a, uh, hmm. Sacred Trial actually coming into play here. I guess I sacrificed the Snapjaw to not get Sacred Trial. 2, 3, 5, 9, 14. I'll be at 16.
I'm not over yet. I can still draw a lightning storm coming back. I'm still good. I'm still good. That card was at least bad for him. Yeah, this curve draw was just really bad. I'm one doomsayer away from making a comeback. No. Oh. That way I can still get doomsayer. Yes, sir. Always lucky. Oh. Well played. I didn't approve any of this. You know, based off of how poorly I did, I'm actually surprised I did five wins. I mean, one was a freebie, two were complete newbies or something. I feel like three of them were like mistake-filled games. I don't even remember. Whatever. Eh, I got five. Eh. Sadness.